Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Raised by Gypsies Shorts. I'm Mark Hicks, and today we have Mad World News. This came to me uh, through Facebook. A friend had posted this, uh, trying to um, inform the world, I guess. But let's take a look at this uh magazine or the flyer here that uh, they have out and uh, let's look at it in maybe a different way than what you are used to looking at things. Um, in my opinion uh, this is nothing but another piece of propaganda. It's meant to get you excited, get you riled up, uh, get you thinking in one direction, that type of thing. That's what propaganda does. Propaganda doesn't uh, put out one thing and then hope uh, you're going to uh, change your opinion in any direction or any way. Propaganda is put out in a way that is continuous and, and constantly pushing you in one direction. And then it'll many times uh, turn in another direction depending upon how they want to steer and many times this is just done as a test just to see how the public is reacting and I'll show you how they even uh, get the results you give them the results you give them everything they need uh, whenever they put out one of these things so let's take a look at this all right uh, it's all about Robert De Niro's dark dirty secret comes out hmm and after he sneaks into the UN for a showdown, for a showdown with Trump, you know, oh my, oh my, this is juicy. This is some juicy stuff here. All right, let's, and I've got highlighted areas here where I'm going to read from. Uh, first of all, it came out September 19th, uh, 2017, and today is September 25th, so in, uh, about a week ago. Aging actor Robert De Niro mysteriously sneaked, and I'm not sure if that should be snuck, I'm not a, but anyways, into the United Nations looking to grab the headlines on what is President Donald Trump's big day. His big day. Trump was on hand on Monday and Tuesday addressing the United Nations General Assembly as the United States stands perilously close to nuclear war with North Korea. Now, that's another subject. I really don't think anything is going to happen there. That's another ploy, just like what is going on here. All right, De Niro made his play for a showdown with Trump. And all went wrong when his dark, dirty secret came out instead. Okay, so instead of going back down to the end of the article and, and saying, okay... Uh, here's his dirty dark secret. Let me show you. All right, his dirty dark secret is he's going to ask for relief for Barbuda, which is an island uh, in the Caribbean, which apparently, now apparently, uh, Robert De Niro and billionaire James Parker bought uh, last year. This was published last year, August 5th, 2016. You can see my cursor here. Right there. So this was about a year ago. His dirty dark secret was main news. It, you know, it was put out. Uh, Forbes put it out. Uh, you know, so everybody that reads Forbes or whatever knew all about this. So it really wasn't a dark secret. Come on. All right. Now, which was interesting when I went to this article was uh, right here. It said it was updated 9-9-2017. So now they've already changed whatever was written in here. I could go back to the Wayback Machine, but eh, that's not really what I needed this for. Um, following the devastation, devastating destruction of Barbuda from Hurricane Irma, this project is, is obviously on hold. Well, all right. And here's a picture of those guys when they bought it and 
these guys are looking pretty sharp and this guy over here is kind of looking like a, a derelict but uh, anyways what I was really looking for was the name of the place before they had bought it you know they did they buy did they start this from new did they uh, what was going on here what were they gonna do and phase one it says right here was 77 rooms and uh, it would take no more than 36 months to build it okay so you had a former name it was the K Club Resort okay it was called the K Club Resort all right so let's go out there and I just wanted to see what kind of place this was they said they're gonna put 250 million dollars into this thing and I just was curious to see what 250 million dollars bought all right so there's a on the devastation and I found this site here that has a listing of all of the uh, resorts for uh, Antigua and Barbuda right here okay and uh, it's going to list all the resorts for us and their rating from the customers and all that and I went all the way through this thing and uh, I'm telling you I'll just let this scroll down through neither one of those resorts are listed in here oh uh, let me go back here real quick the name of the resort paradise found Nobu resort okay and it was uh, formally called the K Club Resort. Now, if we go back over here and look, you'll see that neither one, none of those names are in here. There we go. There's a lot of resorts there. And none of them have either one of those names or anything close to it. So, is this actually real? I don't know. I would think that, you know, if I had a new restaurant or a new resort, um, part of the marketing scheme, if it's going to be 36 months out before... Uh, it is actually reopened, you would put uh, advertisements out there saying that, you know, you'd put it in listings and say, uh, at this date, you know, you can start your bookings, you know, that type of thing. Um, I would think that's what you would do, but maybe they didn't, I don't know. But anyways, it just seems uh, a little bit fishy. Okay, so, uh, De Niro doesn't like uh, Trump, no secret there. Uh, Two-time Oscar-winning actor Robert De Niro is at the United Nations to appeal to all countries and organizations to help rebuild the devastated Caribbean island of Barbuda, reported The Hollywood Reporter, which added De Niro spoke Monday at a hastily called meeting on Hurricane Irma. So he must have, you know, been able to speak all these languages and got these guys together real quick. Or, you know, they, they had all their translators in place and all this other stuff that's going to fall into place to do something like this. You know, just think about it, folks. You know, how do you do that? How do you sneak in unannounced to a meeting to the United Nations, no matter who you are, and have it put together instantly. And uh, here I'm going to make this appeal. All right. So now I'm going to make this appeal for this island that probably not many have heard about. I haven't heard about it before now, but I'm not an island jumper either. And uh, uh, I'm going to make this appeal to get, you know, forget about everything else that's been devastated by this hurricane. Forget about that. I just want this island done because these people are so good. I'm such a good humanitarian. You know, 
uh, you know, would you think somebody would be suspicious if you did that? <laughs> you know, <laughs> come on, jeepers, uh, you know, we're not in we're not in fourth grade, really not, but they sure treat us like we are, and you know, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being treated like an idiot and uh, them getting away with it. And they are. They get away with it every day. Every day. What's worse, De Niro himself uh, could nearly fix the whole darn island uh, it's, with its with his net worth of $200 million, which is, you know, so what? And re uh, restoring... Uh, Barbuda will cost them measly three hundred million, which isn't nothing for all these Hollywood highfalutins. Here is what he's saying, and uh, De Niro uh, has been scheming against President Trump ever since he got elected. That bastard! You know he is a hardcore liberal. That bastard! De Niro, shut the hell up. We know his dark, dirty secret, which wasn't really a dark, dirty secret. And he's not fit to shine the shoes of Donald Trump. All right. So after reading this article <laughs> somewhat, you know, what do you think this is all about? This is all about making this guy on the right here look good. For some reason, I have no idea why right now our fake media wants him to look good. I have no idea. Okay. I can speculate all day why, but this is designed to specifically do that. That's what propaganda does. And our little Patsy over here is just one of the boys in the club playing a role. He is, Robert De Niro is an actor. Now, if the United States came in and said, okay, to all of us at the United Nations or whoever you needed to talk to to set this up and said, hey, we're going to have Robert De Niro come in and talk and you guys are going to listen for a little bit, you know, that kind of thing. Do you think that might happen? All right. That's what this is all about. It was getting you all riled up. And they don't care if you're upset with Robert De Niro. Like I said, he's the patsy. He's just playing the game. He's playing a role. He's not even being himself. You're mad at a character. And to prove, and to prove that this type of... Uh, Propaganda still works. All you have to do is go down to the comments. An article like this in some magazine or a flyer thing, it's blog that I had no idea. By the way, this is I am not into the uh, the number thing and all that, but this is obviously sideways three threes, so whatever. But uh, uh, you just look at the comments. 1,531 comments on this, on this article. What the hell? De Niro needs to get diverse. I guess his attitude always was advised by wife. Okay. De Niro is a total fool. De Niro needs to contribute. Okay, so they're busting up on Robert De Niro here, which is exactly as they are programmed to do. This is what these people do. Okay? That's what you're taught to do. Robert De Niro has brain damage. He is a stupid idiot asshole. You are an embarrassment. The character he was playing is the embarrassment. After making the movie Raging Bull, he was knocked out so many times, he's got brain damage. And you know what? 1,500 of these. 
And either they're saying De Niro sucks or Trump is great. One or the other. And they're doing exactly as they are programmed to do. I'm sad to say, but this is where our society is. And if you are awake, please try to wake others. Talk with them. That's all you have to do is talk with them and use logic. And if they, you know, eventually they're going to see the logic. Simple logic. How the heck do you think this happens? All right? Okay. It's just a real short one. I appreciate you listening. I always appreciate you listening. And until next time, peace.